Hey everybody, Spoonfat here, and today we are going to do a new distro, and that is Savagnon. Uh, I hope I pronounced it correctly because I have no idea. Uh, I've never heard of this one. I've never seen it before. I don't, I don't know anything about it. So I'm just gonna go and boot it up. Let's do it. Let's see what we can do with this. Undefined video. Uh, all right, now it's available. Because I know what I want. I want to have three six four. What was three seven one? No, I don't want three seven one. I want three six four. Wow, this looks pretty cool. Has a bit of a dark feel to it. Uh, you can press Alt of one if you want, but I don't need text scrolling off my screen uh, right now. Uh, all right, so right now it's just booting up the live CD environment in the lower left corner there is a small like light blue uh, vertical bar I have no idea if that indicates the progress and yes it does alright cool that answers my question I think that bar is supposed to be like the thin part only I think somewhere something went wrong but nah that's okay I did see that this was uh, LXDE, which is a lightweight uh, X desktop environment. Uh, it's you also have XFCE, but Lubuntu uses LXDE. So if you've used Lubuntu, uh, then you uh, you already know this uh, environment. I, on the other hand, have no clue as to what this environment is because I've never used it before. And I've never used Lubuntu either. So let's see. We already got a black mouse cursor. That's one. Alright, this doesn't look so bad. It kind of looks like uh, Zorin OS actually, with the round, the round button as a start. Well, this actually looks pretty decent. Not gonna be complaining at all. All right, this is a pretty nice distro. Awesome. Let me see if I'm just gonna install it in a in a small uh, mode like uh, whatever this resolution is. I'm gonna install it to the hard drive and then I'm gonna uh, do the normal resolution. I have no idea why they won't find my correct resolution. Uh, they just they just won't. All right, English, yes, sir. Next, U.S. International. Next, basic storage, fine. Because I don't have a special storage. I don't have network attached storage systems or, or servers or whatever. What is it? Error processing. I need to be. And right, go for it. Sabayon was perfect. Uh, we'll pick that one. The root password. Go for it. <clears throat> username. Yes. Oh no, username. I need to do that. Full name. That. Use all space, and that one is in root and swap. All right, let me explain this whole thing to you that you might like follow. Uh, we're gonna split up the hard disk, which is SDA for in this case, into a SDA one and a SDA two. SDA one is gonna have the slash boot partition, which contains all the necessary files in order to boot it up. Nothing gets added to this except the boot uh, files. Secondly, we're going to add a physical volume, a log logistic volume manager or something like that uh, to this one. And that group consists of a LV root from uh, of Sabayon, which is everything. So, and a swap space. And a swap space is something Linux uses uh, in order to gain more memory. Windows uses a, uh, a page file and Linux uses a swap file. 
uh, same concept only swap file works better than a page file uh, that's it so next following yeah that's fine go for it yeah go for it All right. install bootloader yes sir next no I don't need to have the extra languages installed no thank you alright so that's what Sabayon looks like looks different than this one well, okay I, I ran into some errors but nothing too big actually it's probably due to the fact that I have everything inside a virtual machine I hate views oh my god do I hate it I don't care uh, anybody who says no it's perfect it works really well it doesn't oh that reminds me I should really make a video on uh, uh, on torrents and a lot of people already are talking about that torrents are ancient that they're old you should use new systems like usenet groups and stuff like that I will get into that when I make these videos. Don't worry. Never worry. I will cover, well, in my mind, everything. Uh. Alright, so the install is going as quickly as all the rest. Hey, Ice Age. Free. Uh, advertising for Ice Age, I don't know the Age of Dinosaurs, I don't know which one it is. Uh, the third one, Dawn of the Dinosaurs, yeah, that was it. I can look directly into my uh, cabin with all my DVDs because I know that you can download a lot of movies. Everybody knows, well not everybody knows, but a lot of people know. And that it is illegal. Uh, so yeah, I buy I buy actually most of my videos from most of my films. Especially uh, like series like uh, animated series like Family Guy, Simpsons, South Park, uh, that all that stuff I've got. I'm actually thinking about um, no I'm gonna do different I've made a awesome picture of my cat Mephisto and I'm gonna make it into a like uh, not, not cartoon but like graffiti style uh, picture I put that up on uh, I don't know where no idea maybe uh, that's what I'm gonna make my logo from spoon fat for now why not mm. well they've included a media center something I've never ever used in my life there are a lot of programs that I don't know. Never seemed that much interested, interesting to me, or did not appeal to me. Or and one of those things is a media center. Uh, I just use a simple tactic of hooking up my external hard drive to the PlayStation Three. That's how I do it. One page Linux manual. Cool. I like that stuff. I think I'm uh, gonna pause the video right here because I have nothing to talk about. I don't have news articles. I uh, no, I don't have anything. Oh no, I, I actually I do. There is a uh, great musical comedian called Bill Bailey. 
if you don't know him. Uh, he's appeared on QI. If you don't know that, that then that, that's a series uh, on the BBC, which is a the broadcasting network from the UK, the UK government even. And on that show, they discuss like uh, facts that people get th uh, taught in schools which are wrong. And he's appeared on that, and he's been a captain on Nevermind the Buzzcocks, which is also a show on the BBC. And that show is about music and just like uh, a bit mucking about about music and old music, old pop music, and stuff like that. Um, but he is uh, actually a musical comedian in that he is doing comedy style, but with a lot of musical instruments. And on Dan the Lion Mind, a show of his is a fantastical piece about Oud. And I suggest you just look that up. If I, if I can find it before uh, I put this online, I will include the link in the description. Uh, and otherwise, I have no, how, just look up Dan the Lion Mind uh, and, and you will find the piece. Uh, the, the pardon me moments in the show what I'm talking about. Right now I'm getting distracted by bright colors and data. I always like data. And SQL Live Browser, a I think just a top on the bottom and on the, uh, that's pretty confusing what I'm gonna say. All right, on the right you have the SQL Browser and in the lower left corner you have top and in the upper left corner I don't know what you have there open your source and open your mind that should be the other way around because if you open up your source as in code or yourself before you can do that you need to open up your mind I think Yeah. How can you open up yourself before opening up your mind? Because you need to have an open mind in order to know that you can open up yourself. That's If that's going too fast for you, then... Um, yeah, I don't know what to say. This looks like KDE style, and I did LXDE. You... Damn it. School's out. From Alice Cooper. Who that we might no I already talked about that in my last video. Oh uh, I'm excited for my music project. And I already did a Minecraft today. I'm gonna do a short episode, a short, I think they're twenty minutes long each, but uh each day. And uh, because I don't know, it's good distraction for me. It's pretty fun to just like walk around and dodge enemies, get resources. And right now, Mephisto is still uh, sleeping in front of my uh, laptop or behind my laptop, it depends on your view. And I always wonder what cats are dreaming about because you can see him twitching in his sleep, and probably dogs do that too, but I'm not a dog person, so I have no clue. Uh, and I know that in Japan uh, already, well, it must have already been last year, but maybe even the year before that, they had a machine that could uh, capture that dream moment. So what what it did was uh, project your dream onto a screen, like a monitor, like a, a, a like, like a PC monitor or whatever, and then also store that data as a video file so you can literally play back your dreams to yourself yeah go for it and I was wondering that if, if I could do that not for myself because I don't care what I dream but I always wanted to see what like my cat Mephisto would dream or Rorschach would dream and 
you know, probably the people out there think, oh, I want to know what my pets dream. You know, do they dream about, uh, I don't know, catching? Because all the all my cat knows is the area that he's living in and the area he is coming from. Because I picked him up at a farm or a farm-ish uh, environment. But Rorschach actually came from a farm, which is pretty weird for a Bengal, I know. But still, I, I wonder what... You know what the creations they make do they also dream unrealistic things is what I'm wondering and with that technology that the Japanese did uh, we could find out it's 9 MB oh, no problem are they chasing rabbits even though they've never seen a rabbit before you know that is it so imprinted in their brain that they already know what a rabbit looks like? Like, um, because some creatures are programmed to recognize danger, the shape of danger, like some birds, or no, not some birds. Um, no, I'm saying that correctly. Some birds recognize the shape of a hawk or a falcon, for example, as a dangerous shape. Because that's French, by the way, which. Uh, Oh, it also says that right there. Um, so I'm wondering if my pet is programmed to recognize a rabbit, you know, or or a bird. You, you, you've seen birds here, you've seen the mafia here, um, and the mafia here are actually sparrows. So, and the reason we call sparrows the mafia, or at least me and my girlfriend do, is because they are everywhere, and when they are in the streets here. Uh, one will sit on each house and they will chirp to each other uh, whenever somebody passes by because it's danger so they keep an eye on everything and they are everywhere every garden here and stuff like that so that's why we call them the mafia which to us makes sense uh, I've also got a Dexter walking around and Dexter is a hedgehog and you might think well that's a dumb name for a hedgehog Dexter but the reason he's called Dexter is because of the show Dexter, which is about a murderer. And that is what my girlfriend was watching uh, as he was walking past our house and made the uh, you know, the sensor, uh, activated the sensor for the light. So my girlfriend thought there was a burglar. Or she actually thought Dexter was there to kill her. So that was pretty funny. That's how we give nicknames to... Well pretty much everything cats in our neighborhood I don't even know I know some of the real names but I have cats that I call Don Vito uh, one is called Heathcliff one is called Tiger which is a pretty silly name but a standard name even but he's also called Alan and he's called Alan uh, because of the hangover in which you have the big bearded guy he's, his name is Alan and uh, let's log in I like the login screen so far and he gives a hug and uh, that's the first thing that cat did to us he's a bit stupid and he gives hugs so oh, it's the same as Adam we have a cat called cyborg uh, because his this patch over his eye looks like a cyborg we used to call him ruffian because he looked like a pirate ruffian who would like steal your money and then we have blues which is a uh, cat that has a awful meow which he lets out every time she likes or she likes somebody she will meow as if she wants you to go that's pretty funny uh, preferences monitor settings yes thank you well this is Sabayon uh, so far it looks pretty cool um, internet they have Midori there are a hundred and seventy six updates available. It looks pretty stylish. I mean, not, nothing weird. That <laughs> duck, duck, go. Yeah, that's a thing I haven't. It should be D bus. Yeah, no, no, fine. That's fine. D bus is uh, your uh, VGA cable. Which is actually just your monitor cable. That's D bus. Officially, it's called D bus. Well, 
your system well go for them do it do it okay oh my 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 bad here we go close 176 I'll just update all I don't need to go through that we need one and a half gigs of space for all of this I'm sorry but that is a lot and I'm not gonna do that right now <laughs> so <laughs> you know right now if you get Sabayon you have to download uh, stuff and that will equal one and a half gigabytes probably more when, by the time you see this so be careful with that I'm gonna close this I'm not gonna do it because I'm not gonna use this anymore uh, I'm just gonna show you they've made a lot of advertising for themselves like wow I'm sorry that, that's something I do not like at all I don't mind like this when you start up a browser to go to their home page that's something I do not mind but to have a home menu and a store and donation button on desktop that's something I'm sorry I uh, advise against that let's do a file manager see how that looks oh that looks pretty cool yeah that's uh, it's not too bad Cool, so uh, that is Sabayon. And uh, this is the LXDE. Uh, I don't know if there are other flavors. Uh, you know what? We can just look for that right now. Why not? Why? Why the hell not? Sabayon. DuckDuckGo. Actually, that duck looks like Dr. LeQuack from uh, Courage. No, it doesn't look like a duck look like from Courage. It looks like the alien. The duck alien from Courage. Let's see. Download Sabayon. What what do you have for me? I do not see any other So I don't know what the pictures were from the install, but but if you look at this, it does not look like what we have. Oh here it says this is gnome. This is the gnome flavor. This is the KDE flavor. This is the LXDE flavor, which is the one I have, and this is the XFCE flavor. So they come in four flavors. All right. Well, just to give you a, a quick look to what it looks like on gnome. Uh, come on. This is what it looks like on GNOME in during the install. And I will not be doing a Sabanyol install of every flavor, just like I can do for all the rest. So, uh, yeah. Um, this is the LXDE version, and I quite like it. Uh, it looks cool, it works, and just remember you have to download one and a half gigs extra. Alright, that's it for me. And actually, this is the first of the four distros that I'm gonna do which I have no clue about so yeah uh, take care and I'll see you next time